Yo, creatives, welcome back to the channel. Yo, we're in a new space. We're talking about some new stuff. I haven't been in Premiere in a second. We're going to be talking about five easy and five of my favorite little um, video effects for music videos that I've used in the past. They're just timeless, and I just want to show them to you in case you use Premiere Pro, assuming that you probably do since you clicked on this video. So let's jump right into these, and let me show you the swag. All right, number one, the first transition is just like a simple flash or a build-up flash. It's really cool to me because I love flashes. All right, one clip, two clip. I got two clips that are... Um, um, transitioning first things first you want to come over here make an adjustment layer make sure it's the same size as your sequence settings and hit ok and that'll pop up right here and then you just click hold drag and bring it down into the timeline I've already got one here so let me enable that so if you hold shift and push the back arrow it goes back five frames so I have one that is ten frames in total so five before and five after the cut now what you want to do is come over here to effects and type in levels and this is just the way that I do the flashes so the white input level is at 255 if you bring it down it kind of like blows out the highlights and goes into a white look so what i do is go back to the first frame of the clip push the stopwatch to set a keyframe come to the middle set another keyframe come to the end set another keyframe come back to the middle keyframe and we're going to change this to about 50 that way it brightens it up just enough to where you can see the clip still and the highlights are all bloomy and it just looks real blown out it looks cool. If you come all the way to zero, it just kind of makes the whole thing white. And I, I personally like it better at around 50. Now you can play the clip and it's got a perfect flash. You can use this for music videos. You can use this for anything. It's always one of the best always been always will be one of the best transitions that you can use if you click on the adjustment layer and you push this drop down arrow on it as well you can click on this little point right here from the middle keyframe and then right over here there's this little uh, I don't know little option to click on and pull if you click and pull it and kind of bring it so that it has like a gradual like um, incline or I guess decrease in this case this will make it gradually come in and hit really hard so now that we've changed that setting click it as you can see, it kind of slowly creeps in and then hits the flash. One more time, one more time. Yeah, that looks cool. All right, number two is speed ramps and adding some blur to make it look realistic and a little bit of a zoom. So I don't know what you call it, but let me show you. All right, let's click this adjustment layer and let's disable it. Now let's click on the clip that we want to speed ramp, right click, come to show clips, keyframes, time remapping and do speed gives us a new line and this is basically our speed now when I'm doing like a speed ramp blur transition I come to the end and then I go back around five frames then I want to push P to so I can set a point and push that point right there I'm gonna click a so I can go back to my uh, arrow and now I'm just gonna speed it up on this side with this line I'm gonna go to about let's just do 350 you can drag this back out you click these right here and you expand them this way so you can make a smooth speed ramp rather than it just being regular speed and then instantly speed it, it gradually goes into the speed ramp so now that we got that nice smooth little s curve kind of we can click this and drag it back to make it start where we initially wanted it to start if you play it it looks good it's speed ramp from regular to like faster and it gradually comes in. Only problem is it doesn't look super realistic because if it was speeded up, there'd be motion blur. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this adjustment layer and bring it to about right here where that first keyframe or that first gray um, bar is. So I'm gonna do it right here and we're gonna go to the end of the clip of this, well, end of the speed ramp cut and get rid of that. Come to the effects and type in directional blur, drag that onto the adjustment layer. And now we're gonna set keyframes from the beginning. Since it gradually speed ramps in, we're gonna gradually bring in the motion blur. So we're gonna do 90 degrees for the direction so that it's horizontal. And then we're gonna do it about 15 on the blur length. So it, there's, the, there's your motion blur. And if you see when we play it, it kind of adds that blur in and just adds an effect for that transition. If you come in a few frames, you can see the black right here around the edges. We're going to get rid of that using another um, effect, which is called transform. We're just going to drag transform on top of that. All right, starting at the beginning of the clip, we're going to set a keyframe with this stopwatch at the regular size. We're going to come in that first frame, actually, the first jump. We're going to go, let's say 105. Yeah. So we zoomed it in a little bit and it kind of disappears. I'm actually going to maybe just go. 110 just a little bit more in uncheck this use composition shutter angle and then we're going to change this to 150 all right let's play it and it, it looks pretty cool i mean i'd probably dial back the the blur a little bit or increase it 
you could go high with it and make it crazy. That looks pretty cool. It's a cool transition. Actually, let's get rid of this and make this 90 the whole way. So it, it is always horizontal and it doesn't turn. There we go. That's pretty cool. That's a cool transition with the motion blur and the speed ramp. Um, what you could do is also dial it back down. So it's not as intense. It's just slightly. So it looks like how your eye would see something if it moves by a little blur would be added to it. Yeah, that looks smooth. I like that. Are you enjoying this? Is this benefiting you at all? I really hope that it is, assuming that you're here because you use Premiere Pro. If it is, drop a comment down below, let me know, and make sure you slap the like button for me. Today, everybody is making content, whether it's music videos or whatever. My grandma makes TikTok videos, bro. I'm just kidding. But if she did, I would tell her to get a royalty-free stock footage, music, and video template subscription like Motion Elements. You wanna know why? Because it's easy. It's so easy, bro. You don't have to go into any video editing program anymore and fiddle with knobs and try to make effects and do a, basically what we're doing right now in this tutorial. You can just download a template for titles and simply fill it in or quickly drop a video transition right over top of your video and let it rock out. Or you can get motion graphics and music or stock footage. Stock footage, bro. You barely even need to shoot anymore. You can get footage that's royalty free, then write up and record a voiceover and pretty much make a whole video right now without even leaving your house even for client work as well. If you wanna make your life as a creator easier, look into Motion Elements today with my link down below. I believe it's $16 a month for unlimited downloads and that's cheaper than buying dinner. I guess it depends on what you typically eat for dinner, but it's cheaper than my dinners. Invest in yourself as a creator with Motion Elements today. All right, real quick before we move on from this sponsor, I wanna actually show you what this can do. I downloaded this Video Maker presets package right here. It has everything in it. It has color correction, so it has like colored LUTs for different scenarios, film, cinematic, so on. It has text transitions that you can put transitions over text, but most importantly, it has transitions and transitions are great for this actual tutorial. We're talking about transitions and video effects. It has everything, glitch, it's got zooms, perspective, distortion, slice, bounce, shake, simple, light leaks, cinematic blur. One of my favorites or two of my favorites is flashes and blurs for transitions because it just looks super, super cool. It's very sleek and very effective and it gets the job done. It's just something, I like clean effects. I don't like stuff to be too crazy and just unreal and nah, nah I, don't, I don't like that. So just real quick, let me click this drop down menu real quick adjustment layer method. We already have the adjustment layer on there for 10 frames, so that works perfect. And then we have flash blur transitions and smooth neon transitions. Let's go into this fast blur. Let's just pick one, like, there's tons of them. I mean, bro, this pack has tons of transitions. Like, they're everywhere. Like, it's almost overwhelming how many awesome transitions you can get. And $16 a month for motion elements, $16 is well worth this pack alone not to mention all the other stuff you can get. Let's click and drag that fourth one on there and let's see what that does. That, that's fire, bro. That's dope. All right, I swear I'm not trying to hype it up. That joint is just tight. Let's see what the distortions do. Um, chaotic distortion, blur, ghost transitions. Let's look at the ghost transitions. Let's grab the fourth one again like we did the last pack. That's that's fire. No, seriously, that, that's fire, bro. All you gotta do is drag and drop. You don't have to keyframe and do all this stuff that I'm showing y'all how to do. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, number three is a speed ramp with an additive dissolve. So it's like a speed ramp and a flash. It's something that I've used for mu uh, music video edits for years um, in Premiere Pro. So let me show it to you. All right, we don't need the adjustment layer for this one. So now we're gonna speed ramp this uh, first clip into the second one. So what I always do is come to the end, go back about five frames, maybe six. I'll just do six. And I actually cut the clip for this one. I don't make a smooth speed ramp. Uh, highlight this, and I'll do Command J, and we're just gonna speed it up from here. Let's do 350. Now it just is regular speed clip, and then a sped up ending. And it's gonna jump abruptly, but I like it. It just, it looks cool for a music video. So let's play it. And you can see it looks cool. I'd even, you know, speed it up to maybe like 400. Drag that out. All right, cool. So now with the additive dissolve is what's key in this uh, transition. I like it a lot. I'll come to the end of the clip again, and I'll usually go back two or three, depending on how long the cut is. One, two, three, four, five, six. We did this six frames, so let's just do it right in the middle. Um, three frames in. We're going to cut the clip again. We're going to come over here to the 
um, effects and find additive dissolve. We're gonna drag that right over top of that cut so it affects the whole thing. Let's play it. As you can see, it speed ramps it and adds a flash into it and it just looks cool. It's something that I've always done. It's always been my easy go-to. It just works for any type of transition and cut. I would even maybe go two frames and drag it back a little bit so it maybe flashes a little harder or quicker. And there you go. There's your speed ramp with the additive dissolve. That looks fire. Let's get into my fourth video effect and it is the VR digital glitch. All right, so very simple. Again, we wanna have the adjustment layer above and we're gonna type in VR digi and it usually pops up. Yep, yeah, there it is, drag that on. Off the rip, I, I do not like the way this looks. Those weird blocks, they just, they don't look smooth. They don't look pleasing to me. So you wanna come over here to the settings, come to distortion. You're gonna make this geometry distortion X to zero. You're gonna take the complexity down as far as you can, which is one, and you're gonna take the distortion rate down to zero as well. So now this is where I like this. So if you toggle it off and then back on, you can see the difference in it. It's giving like this blurry, distorted um, prism effect to the clip. And I just like that for a transition or just to run it all the way across your clip. Sometimes if you got like a blurry shot, like you shot a, a music video take and it has blur, I mean, it has grain in it and it's kind of not what you expected. You could just add something like this over top of it to mess it up more and make it look more cool. So if you just let this run, it adds a cool element. I'm gonna cut it off on. You can see that prism effect, that distortion, that blur, it just, it's smooth. So that's cool and it's one of my favorites and I also use it for transitions with this next one, number five, which is like motion blur zooms and slides. So let me show you that. All right, so we got the VR digital glitch on here and I love the way it looks. It looks cool, but there's nothing happening for the transition. So what I wanna show you now is how to make motion blur zooms and stuff like that. Basically you come and get trans uh, transform and then you just drag that onto the adjustment layer. Let's hide that digital glitch. All right, so we're gonna come to the beginning of the clip and now we're just gonna have some fun, right? We're gonna do scale and uh, position, set keyframes at the beginning for both of those. Let's go in, I'm gonna go two frames in, let's do 150, let's zoom it in. Also, before you do anything else as well, uncheck the composition shutter angle and let's do 150 on the shutter angle. Let's bring this down a little, no, let's move this over a little bit. Let's move it to the left like that. Let's come up another frame and let's go to like maybe 200. All right, now let's bring the position of that over here again. And let's come in like two frames and let's do like, let's do like 400, I don't know. And move the frame a little bit that way. And let's come in two more frames and let's come back to like 150. And let's make sure we bring that frame so it's filling the actual screen and move it over to the left a little bit and then come to the end and we're gonna bring it back to 100 regular. And we're gonna bring this back regular. So 960, 540, boom. All right, now we should have a really cool effect with motion blur and zooms and slides. And we also have the prism effect on there as well. Let's see what it looks like. That looks, that looks fire. That looks fire. If you go from the top and go through, you can see the motion blur and it's kind of zooming back and forth and all around and then back out. And it's got that nice distorted blurry uh, prism effect on our subjects. That, that looks dope. That looks fire with the prism, the blur, and the zoom slides and motion blur. Bruh, that's fire. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. Those are my five quick and easy uh, video effects in Premiere Pro that I always use for like music videos and just in general, any type of uh, project as well. Real quick, let me show you. If you click on this adjustment layer and you like like the transition that you made, like this one that we just literally made and I showed you how to do, you can literally just come to the video effects controls and then highlight everything that you use to make it. Right click, hit save preset, name it, and make sure it's on scale so it only it happens throughout that whole 10 frames of your adjustment layer and then hit okay and now your preset will be right over here as a transition and you can basically drag and drop it on any other project in the future and um yeah now you have your own custom transition and you can use it all the time so hope this video helped you i hope that you enjoyed it if you're in adobe premiere pro this should help you all right slap the like button for me if you enjoyed it like i said and uh, i will see you guys in the next video if you want new videos and different stuff you want me to show you anything else let me know down below all right, until next time, peace.